Hello, guys. You're listening to the Mid State League uh, Weekly and the Willie Stimmage Podcast. And this is a quick game day edition. That's right. Today is the day that uh, Harvest Prep will be taking on uh, Adina. And, uh, you know, Harvest Prep beat uh, Columbus Academy to get there. And Adina, the Adina Warriors are in a position they have not been in in 39 years as they won their, their first district title since 1980 as they beat Chesapeake 53-40. Now they must prepare for a tough Harvest Prep team in a Division Three regional semifinal at uh, Ohio University. That's tonight. Uh, Convocation Center. I think it's at 7 o'clock or 8 o'clock. One or the other. I, I'll get that time here shortly. Uh, from the uh, Chilla Coffee Eagle Gazette. They are previewing Adina Harvest Prep game. So I pull this off the wire, and this is how it goes. They says four things you need to know about this matchup. Number one, Harvest Prep Warriors coming off a big district title win. Uh, Adina never trailed in their district final game with Chesapeake, even though the score was close for the majority of the game. Showing that the Warriors have what it takes to close out tight games. I just think we sat down, play good half court defense, and, and kind of limit them from running their sets. Uh, says sophomore Dina Guard, uh, Preston Sykes. I think we just played real fundamental basketball. I thought uh, they were really good outside and, and inside and did a good job of getting back, uh, getting on the glass. For us, this was Adina coach uh, Kyle Bradley said. I thought Nate Stockmorton, Preston Jacob Shipley, and Caleb Fongelsong, I guess that's his name, all played great defensively as well as Zach and uh, LB. Uh, obviously, looking at the de- offensive side and the defensive side, I thought those four guys did a real good job defensively. Uh, then I thought, uh, when I was, uh, going back and watching film, I know Garrett Garrison went in and out and, uh, kind of scared himself a little, I think, and maybe hurt, hurt a little bit. I guess he he hurt himself, but I think he came out in the second half, of course, uh, when they got the ball and some, they got in some foul trouble. Uh, he did a good job of getting, uh, some key spots and handling, the basketball. So this is what coach uh, Kyle Bradley is saying that they can actually place a lot of defense on Harvest prep. Uh, that cause uh, and then the second thing, the, the, the chiller copy Eagle Gazette says that Harvest prep coming in with a lot of experience. This is the second uh, thing out of four. This is the second uh, thing you need to know about uh, Harvest prep. It's an unlikely Adina. Harvest Prep is used to this position as they have won four Division Three district titles in the last six years. I think experience is everything, Sykes said. This is the guard. Uh, I know the situation, and this is our first time being here in a while. We're just the underdog, so we want to come out and try to punch them right in the mouth. Uh, good luck with that, because uh, I think Harvest Prep will put the metal to the pedal and, uh, Okay, if they come out fast, you know, uh, it's a wrap. Uh, it says, last year, Harvest Prep went all the way to the D3 Final Four before losing to Alpha Century 54-52 in the state semifinals. I don't even want to talk about that because uh, I'm still salty about that. They should have won that game. The third thing they says was number two team in D3. Harvest Prep is the number two team in D3. Harvest Prep has been a top-notch team in Division Three all season as they only have two losses on the year and were ranked number two in the final Associated Press poll of the season. Uh, they're really a good basketball team and shares the ball really well, as Coach Bradley said. Uh, they got a lot of pieces, got a lot of nice pieces. They got two really good guards that are future college basketball players and so Hines, the kid, so Hines, this so Hines kid, that's what he said, and uh, C.J. Anthony kid. <laughs> they got good athletes on the wings, 
They are really good a post player and they see the floor really well. And it is a great, they are a great passing team and a really good shooting team. Most importantly, though, they got after you defensively and apply a lot of ball pressure. So you got to be, really be uh, ball strong and take care of the basketball. Otherwise, the game can get real ugly real quick. That's what they, that's what the coach said. So evidently they've been watching Harvest Prep. But uh, Harvest Prep has five guys who can score around uh, about 10 points a game, meaning multiple guys can score the basketball for Harvest Prep. They got six or even seven kids that can just flat out shoot the basketball. That what Coach Bradley said, we got to be able to guard the three-point line and win the one-on-one battles there. When you have five guys that are at or near double figures, that's tough. They they're going to be they're going to put a lot of ball pressure on us and uh, defense collectively. Uh, the fourth thing they said about uh, Harvest Prep is Adina looks to contain C.J. Anthony. Uh, yeah, good luck with that too. Uh, Adina will have the tall task of trying to slow down C.J. Anthony on Thursday, as he is a their leading scorer with twenty five point three points a game according to two seventy hoops and was in the Mid-State League Cardinal Player of the Year. He's a really good player, Coach Bradley said. He can shoot it from the moment he walks in the gym. He's got range. He's got the ability to to get to the rim, left-handed or right-handed. It doesn't matter. He hits the offensive glass real well. The thing that stands out to me, though, is you got a guy that averaged 25, averaging 25, and does it on that end really well. But then turns around on the other end and he guards the basketball with a purpose. Uh, Sykes had high praise for CJ Anthony, but he's also confident in the defensive play of teammate Nate Srock Morton. He's a really steady guard, but we're going to have Nate on him. And, and he, we're going to have Nate on him, and Nate's a really good defender, and he can get up in you says uh, guard Sykes. I know he'll put up with the challenge. He'd be put up for the challenge and is going to uh, guard him all 32 minutes. No matter what happens, he won't back down. So uh, there you have it. I mean, these guys are like they're ready for the challenge. But uh, it's going to be a good game. Uh, Adina is taking on Harvard's Prep tonight uh, at Ohio University Convocation Center. In a D3 regional semifinal at 8 p.m. on Thursday, which is today. So, uh, hey, these guys have been doing their homework. Uh, they're going to have a defender on CJ all 32 minutes. Uh, they want to guard the three point line. Uh, so it's going to be a, it's going to be a test. Uh, but you know, we've been battle tested all year. So, you know, these are no, these are no things that we can't handle. So, uh, I gotta go. So that's that's my uh, little uh, message for the listeners. And uh, like I said, these guys been doing their homework, and uh, this is coming from the Chilla Copy Eagle Gazette, uh, the preview in the Adina Harvest Prep game, and they had uh, four things they need to know about this matchup. Uh, the Warriors are coming off a big district title. Uh, the Warriors come in here with experience. The Warriors are the number two team in the D District Three. District Three, and the Warriors Adina looks to contain C.J. Anthony. You might be able to contain him, but I don't think you're gonna be able to stop him. So, with that being said, guys, a wrap. That's all I have. Good morning to you. Uh, see you. I won't be at the game, but I'll be tuned in. Uh, but uh, get on down there to Athens. Uh, cheer Harvard's prep on. It's gonna be a good contest. So. And uh, with that, the winner going to play Saturday in di- in the regional finals. So, with that being said, I got two fingers up. I'm out here. A uh, peace. Good morning to you. Have a safe day. Have a good day. Have a good travel. Safe travels down to Athens. This is the Mid State League Weekly and the Willie Stimmage Podcast. My name is Willie Stimmage. <laughs>